Hi everyone, welcome to KiwiCan. My name's Chris and I'm a KiwiCan leader from Christchurch. I work in Banks of School, Chertsey, Hornby High, Addington and St Bernadette's. So a big hello to all of my students that are stuck inside on lockdown. Because we're stuck inside, we're missing out on so much learning, but that doesn't mean that we can't challenge ourselves to be helpful. We all need to pull together at this time and be helpful. Don't just sit there playing on your console all day. It's totally fine to play on your computer game sometimes, but not all the time. Don't waste your brain, guys. It's an amazing tool. Hey, Chris, can you give me a hand for a second? Hey, Chris, can you give me a hand? What? I was just asking for a hand. Are you free? Busy. Don't be that guy. Be this guy. What do you want to help with? What can I help you do? Would you be able to help me change tyres on the car? Sure, I'll get straight to it. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So my housemate needs two wheels on her car's changing and I managed to get out on Wednesday just before the lockdown happened and found two wheels that fit her car. A lot of car tires are different sizes but all the sizes and dimensions are written here on the side so the ones I need to find are 215, 60, 60, 95 H. So this is where I come to try and find some wheels because it's cheaper than buying them brand new. Pick a part and walk around and I'll look for some wheels and try and find the numbers that match my numbers. Nope, too big, too big. Look. Nope, too big. It's like a car graveyard. It's pretty cool actually. 215, 70, 16. Ah, so close. Yeah. So, found one. We gotta take them to the front and pay for them. Go, 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 go! Ah, uh, going the wrong way. And I thought that seeing as we don't get to see you guys, I'd create this little video showing you how I change the wheels on the car so that you guys can help anybody else if they need to change the wheels on their car. Because we should always try to help other people if we can. Okay, so for you older kids that might end up doing this, always remember, safety, safety, safety. Don't do this by yourself. Always make sure there's an adult present to supervise, just in case. And this is the first thing you wanna check. You wanna check that the car is on even ground. As you can see, my car is on a bit of a slant, so that if I jacked it up from this side, chances are my car might tip over to the side. Plus, I'm in the middle of the road, so if I'm changing my tire here with traffic, it's a bit of a hazard, and you should make it safe if you can make it safe. Fortunately for me, across the road, there's a nice car park here that I can go and move the car into. If you do jack it up on an uneven surface, this might happen. You don't want to be underneath a car or anywhere near it if that happens, okay? I've got the tools, the jack, and you want to make sure the jack is strong enough to support the weight of your car. It's written on the arm of the jack. The wrench, you want to make sure the nut is, the wrench size is the right size for the nuts because you don't want to thread the nuts. And an arm to jack up your jack. Car is on a flat surface. And before I jack it up, I want to go and make sure the handbrake's on. So quickly go inside. Handbrake's on because if the handbrake's not on, this could also happen. And you don't want to be underneath it when that happens. Now we've just got to find the jack point. And usually, next to the wheels, there's a jack point under here near the back wheel and under here near the front wheel. This is what the jack point looks like. We come underneath, you've got this bit of plastic cut out and you've got this metal rail that runs all the way down the car. So the jack head, it's got a thin bit and a big bit. You want to check yours because yours might be different, but the thin bit you want on the inside, the big bit you want on the outside, so when the big bit jacks up, it doesn't squash or break this metal frame. You want to turn this handle slowly, and as you do, the jack head will go up around that little ridge 
and then once it reaches the top, you're gonna to need the jack handle to do the rest of the work. Now it's really, really important that you find the right jack point, because if you don't find the right jack point, this could happen. definitely don't want that to happen. One more thing you want to do before jacking it up is loosen these wheel nuts because once the car is off the ground and the wheel is up, if you try and loosen the nuts, the wheel's just going to spin instead. So you want to loosen the nuts while the wheel is on the floor. If you can't move it with your hand, you can always put the bar horizontal like this. And you put your foot on one side of the bar and stand up, press down. Don't kick like this because you likely you could miss it and scratch your leg and lost the bar or something. Put your foot on it and press down really hard and it should move. The thing about these nuts is that they can be really, really tight. So if you're not quite strong enough yourself to pull them off, then you should get some help. Oh, I can do. What are the chances? Nice one, can do. <laughs> okay, now with all nuts loosened, we can put the jack on, turn it up, and get this car up. And keep your eye on the base plate as you're jacking it up. If this starts to come even off the floor, you've got to take the jack back down and start again. And now the wheel is up, loosen the rest of these bolts and take the wheel off. This is why the wheel needs changing. Old one, new one. Old one, no. New one, yes. Okay, so while it's up on its jack, definitely, definitely never have anybody underneath that car. And definitely don't have anybody inside the car while it's up on this jack. Any sort of movement can cause that to fall off and this whole thing just drop down onto the floor, which means you might break this. And if something's underneath, like, your leg or your arm or you, that could be a very, very bad ending. Don't do that. But if you want while the wheel is off, you can have a look in there and look at the brake pad to see if you need any brake pads. This is the brake caliper and this is the brake disc. And if you look in here, that is the brake pad. And you can see there's quite a lot left on it. This would be really, really thin if you needed to change it. And you might actually hear squeaking coming from it. Um, when you press the brakes if it needs to be changed but it actually looks all right and you can look at this too so this should be really really smooth you can see there's a couple of lines running through mine it's not too bad but if these lines are really really deep then the car might need a new brake disc too now let's get this wheel back on Okay, when you put these nuts back on, you want to make sure that the bolts are completely centered within this circle because as you can see, there's a little bit of movement. So if you put the nuts on, when they're not in the center like that, your car is going to make so much vibrations as it goes. So you want to adjust it so that the bolt is sat right in the middle and you've got to hold the wheel in position while you do that. This slope at the end of the nut will actually help keep it in position, like so. So the bolt's nice and centered, and then the nut goes on top. And at this stage, you don't have to do it super tight, but as long as you get the, the nut in, inside that circle, it will hold the wheel in place so you can tighten it later on. And I'm gonna go opposite. So I've just put this one, I wanna go opposite to this one, making sure that the bolt is in the center, stick the nut on and screw it in. Now that we got all five on, we give it a little tighten before we put the jack down and tighten it again fully. And when we tighten, we go opposite. So we tighten one and then we go as opposite as we can to tighten another one, opposite again and so on. 
So I haven't let the whole car down yet, but now that the wheel is touching the ground, we can tighten these nuts a lot more without the wheel spinning. Nuts tightened, now we go fully down with the jack. Okay, now that the jack is out, I'm gonna do one more really, really important tighten of these nuts. Nobody should ever drive this car until those nuts have been properly tightened. So I've got to check with my supervisor. Can do. You're up, mate. It's your go. And that's it. Good job, Can do. High five. This video isn't just about showing you how to change the wheel of a car. It's about helping other people or offering to help other people. Just go and ask and say, hey, is there anything that I can do? Or is there anything that needs to be done? And that not only shows how much of an amazing person you are for helping, but you can learn so much from doing things around the house too. Okay, I've got to go now and I've got to wash my hands, not only because of coronavirus, but because, bleh. See you later, guys.